Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2023 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. Today we're going to be showcasing some movies on here that I got right here. There's some movies, but there's also specials. There's also some cartoons on here, like mainly like television series under cartoons on there. For example, you know, like the raccoons and stuff like that. And also I have the anime I have right here, from Dagger of Kamui all the way to Robotech. Well, I know a lot of you want to check out as well, for the second as well. So, without any further ado, which is right here and right now, let's dive right into this. Because we're going to do this whole video, because it's going to be a whole new thing of how I wanted to do something particularly that helped me as how I start getting into the whole game of collecting DVDs and Blu-rays as well, in case you're wondering as well, particularly. Hey, I have been doing so much of these videos in the past, real, that I remembered, but this one I'm going to be doing takes the cake as well, because last time I already take a look back on the 1984 category in movies and anime, which I think I did was yesterday, which I think this all has got to the case as well, in case you're wondering as well, because I wanted to do a, a certain video like this as well, particularly, because I'm going to be doing this for the, for the think of it as well, think of it. I just wanted to do getting into the whole thing of collecting DVDs and Blu-rays. So let's dive right into it, today, on the Physical Media Video Library Series. Welcome back! In this video, I wanted to do something particularly whenever I can showcasing that I have what I have from the 80s decade category I have right here because I'm making these videos as well for this part as well. So we're going to be showcasing some thing that I have here because I have something under movies, there's some specials, but there's some cartoons that I have right here under tele TV ones like this one here. Like, when I mean cartoons mis under t television series under cartoons, you know, for example, like the raccoons and stuff. But there's also, I have some anime. A lot of you want to check this out as well. So, without any further ado, let's begin in the movies category, starting now. The first one here I got on DVD, which I got this a long time ago at Toys R Us, that I have right here, and that is... Baby, Secret of the Lost Legend. It's like, I guess you have to call, like, one of those movies, like, you have to call, like, the obscurity of those movies. I have never saw this movie, but I don't know why. Until now, as well. Because I could call this as one of the obscurity movies of the 80s, as well, if you ask me. Because I always wanted to come across for that, as well. Like, one of those movies that you have completely forgotten about that existed as well, particularly if you want to know as well. I mean, especially those, if you quote from these obscure movies that you don't want to confuse you about, like, like the thought as well. <laughs> so, there's no extras on this DVD. It's only presented in full screen. I don't see if there's the copyright DVD release date on here, but... It is released by Touchstone Home Entertainment as well. I, th I think this was around 98 or 99. Yeah, you can see on there as well. This has gotten to my case, though. And another one I got here on DVD, because I have a couple of some horror movies I have right here on DVD. Most of them that I got, that I have, are from my horror movie collection. And that is... Silver Bullet. What can I say? This is actually the best werewolf movie of the 80s because I'm always a sucker for mo werewolf movies as well, 
particularly like the big ones of the 80s, you know, like take for example like The Howling and An American Werewolf in London. Those are the of those two werewolf movies I wanted to look for like on either DVD or Blu-ray as which as I know as well. This is based on the short novelette called Cycle of the Werewolf by Stephen King. However, this is released in 1985 as well. In case you're wondering, yeah, this is a 2006 DVD release from uh, Paramount Home Entertainment. But just to make you expect what it's like on the DVD case like this, but in reality, what you have on the DVD disc on here, this is a 2002... Paramount Home Entertainment release on DVD. Yeah, because they just switching those swapping discs as well, just to make you think what it was as well. However, this DVD, however, and on the other, is presented it in widescreen. However, there is the 90th anniversary of Paramount logo on the disc on here. I didn't know it that existed as well. I'm going to put this on the par with An American Werewolf in London... The Howling, and Wolfen, that's another one I wanted to get, particularly as well. And another horror movie that I got right here, and I think this is based on the story by H.P. Lovecraft as well, and I think that I got this on DVD at Half Price Books, and that is Reanimator. This is actually another movie that I just got as well on DVD. This is presented in widescreen, which is enhanced for a 16x9 TV on there. There's two different audio commentaries on here. Disc 2 has the bonus materials. There's a lot on the DVD extras on here, on this DVD-based content like this as well. Yeah, this is a um, 2007 Anchor Bay Home Entertainment release, which is in conjunction with Stars Company as well. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, because this is part of the Anchor Bay Collection series as well. <clears throat> However, this comes with a slip cover like this one here. But w what you expect. I love the artwork. It's like a movie poster as well. You know, it says, Death is just be the beginning as well. I never knew that this slipcover has like a movie poster as well. Sort of vintage, huh? Doesn't it? There's only 16 chapters of this movie, like Reanimator. You know, it's been a while since I've watched this movie. I might as well rewatch this movie one of these days for the most part at one point because, yeah, I can't go wrong with movies. Because, however, though, this was based on. H.P. Lovecraft's Herbert West, The Reanimator. Oh, I didn't know that until now as well. Another movie that I got right here on DVD that I have when I got at Barnes & Noble, and that is The Goonies. I got this VH DVD, though. However, I used to have this on VHS, though, but, you know, not, but I don't have it anymore. But not to worry, I have the DVD of this movie. There's a lot of special features on here. This includes a music video, and this has a outtakes and a, the making of the Goonies featurette. And this also has the commentary with Hidden Video Treasures by director Richard Donner and the selected cast members on here. However, the story was done by Steven Spielberg, who worked on E.T. the Extraterrestrial and... Close Encounters of a Third Kind. The screenplay was written by Chris Columbus, who recently worked on um, Home Alone and many of his works as well. However, this is directed by Richard Donner as well. With when he recently worked with Steven Spielberg, Kathleen Kennedy, and Frank Marshall in this one as well. However, this one also did got a Blu-ray release not too many moons ago for this one as well. Because this got to my case, though. And another movie that I got right here, and this is actually one of my 
favorite 80s movies that I consider to be my classic favorite from 1985. And I think I consider this to be my all-time favorites, and that is... Lady Hawk. This is a classic movie directed by Richard Donner as well. However, some of this some of the photography was done by Vittorio Storaro, who recently worked with Dario Argento in that one as well. However, this DVD has the production notes and this also has the film recommendations on here and this also has the theatrical trailer. Some of them were not included on the Blu-ray release as well. Because I think it had some buffle with that as well. But, however, there's only... has a... particularly got a... 31 chapters on here. However, this DVD is presented in both widescreen and in full screen on the flipper disc like this as well. However... This was your typical. This movie was released by Warner Brothers, which is in conjunction with 20th Century Fox. Now it's called 20th Century Studios because Disney bought 20th Century Fox. That's why. And, for, however, it was released under 20th Century Fox International in other countries like Italy as well, which is in Europe as well. This DVD, however, never included the logos like. The 20th Century Fox logo or the Warner Brothers logo as well. However, I do have another edition of Lady Hawk on Blu ray that I just got under Amazon Prime, which is released under Warner Archive Collection, though. However, this Blu ray release on there has the Warner Brothers Pictures logo. But unfortunately, no 20th Century Fox logo after. The Warner Brothers logo, unfortunately, though. However, if you want to look for the UK DVD release of Lady Hawk, I would suggest you pick up a UK DVD release, which it has the 20th Century Fox logo as well. Because if you want to look for the one which it has the 20th Century Fox logo, I think it's available like only in those UK DVD releases. Pretty soon I will pick up a UK DVD release of that because I want to do a like a US versus UK comparison between the DVD and the Blu-ray of Lady Hawk as well. But I'm going to pick up the 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment UK release of Lady Hawk on DVD in Region 2 though for the most part as well. However, this is a good proper upgrade to the Blu-ray as well. I'm wondering if the movie Lady Hawk could ever get a 4K Ultra UD release via Warner Archive Collection. That would be great for Warner Archive Collection should get a release of this for a Blue uh, 4K Ultra HD release as well. As how I got as well. There is also the movies that I need that I don't have, which I I need to get are. Uh, one of my favorite Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer movies, like, for example, like, um, Miami Super Cops. That's particularly another movie that I wanted to get on DVD, but you have to get it in Region 2 because it's, you never know if it has the English track on here, you never know because hopefully you could find it on either Amazon or eBay. Other words, it could have picked it up under Studio Classics Collection under Kino Lorber for a Blu-ray release, which it include the English track. I mean, that'll be awesome for Kino Lorber to release it on Blu-ray, because that would be great to have for what Kino Lorber wanted to release it as well. And also, there's the big one I wanted to get of all as well. Most significantly, the Back to the Future trilogy, because I have watched... I think I've watched Back to the Future during movie day when I was in high school back in 2000, like, I believe it was 9 or 10, which I remembered. Maybe February 2010 during movie day when I was a freshman during high school, at, when I, during a movie day as well. Because I think I've seen Back to the Future, though. Because I've heard good things about Back to the Future movies because they only released it the first three of those in the trilogy, though. Pretty soon I will get... 
the Back to the Future trilogy on Blu-ray because I really want to get those at one point because I can buy three of them separately on Blu-ray for the most part. And finally into some specials on here that I got on VHS here and that is You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown because I got this on VHS though. However, this was released in 1985 as a special though. Your Good Man Charlie Brown is also available. Did got a DVD release via Warner Home Video back in 2010, not many moons ago, as well. Because this got to my case, though. And we're into the cartoons now. Finally, a uh, Canadian show that I just wanted to get that I got right here. I have The Raccoons Season 1 on DVD. By the way, it's Region 2 on this one. There is a lot of raccoons produced on, out there as well, because, by the way, this is in PAL format in Region 2. It's non-USA format, because this is actually my first UK import. However, there were versions of the first two season sets of the raccoons on DVD in Region 1 by Morningstar Entertainment in um, Canada. But the only thing you could get those, like, I would say you can get them on the Canadian Amazon online website or eBay. The Canadian eBay website as well. In case you're wondering as well. But some of them's missing some episodes, but this one I think is all complete as well. However, there are some special features on this DVD, which has the character and crew biographies. And this also has motion menus, create a scene, be an animator, and this also has a Raccoonorama DVD featurettes, which has the original animation cells and director's notes, and this also includes the exclusive never-before-seen artwork, and this also includes a quick-time movie line test, line drawing tests of animated sequences, and this has a computer wallpaper for your computer desktop. Oh, I didn't know that as well. Which I think it's only available in the DVD-ROM on here. If you can insert it onto your computer and you have to click on the DVD-ROM file. Because this has a computer wallpaper in this DVD of the raccoons on here. Wow. Yeah, this is Region 2. This is put out by FabulousFilms.com UK as well. However, here's the the d DVD of this as well. And here's the back, like this. And yeah, this. I got this under Amazon Prime. This is actually my first UK import under Prime, because I got this on Amazon as well. Sorry, I could not... I, I thought it came with an ad... I thought this came with a preview ad for the Mysterious Cities of Gold. However, anyone who had... For, t for those who have the DVDs, Season 1 of... The raccoons on DVD in Region 2, the UK import, it it may have it as well. Here's the episode guide list on here. There's basically has all the episodes on here. Because, however, because this is your typical cartoon that was never made by Nell. Because when I first, because I had to get this DVD. At first I thought this cartoon series, The Raccoons, was created by Nell Vanna, but if Nell Vanna had no involvement for this. Okay, here's the discs of The Raccoons cartoon. Disc 1, this has Cyril Sneer on there, and disc 2 has Burt Raccoon on there as well. Yeah, because this is basically of what I can tell. However, there was a complete series set of the raccoons on DVD, but it's only available with these episodes that are taped off television where they slapped it with a TV logo on there, where they slap it with on the burned onto DVD disc, which you get them at DVD Planet Store online as well, which I think this has more episodes. But overall, there was also a complete series set of the raccoons on DVD, which it has all the episodes on there, but I think it's only released in Germany on DVD as well. But I got this DVD because 
why not? Because this is a, actually my first UK import as well. As well, I can understand. No, I don't have Golden Girls or MacGyver. Those are the two TV shows that I really wanted to get because I think those two are the big ones of 80s television series on there. Yeah, I've heard good things about Golden Girls, which is an 80s sitcom series. I'm p figuring, as well as MacGyver, there, that's another 80s television series I needed, which is MacGyver as well, okay, if I'm not mistaken, though, as well. And finally, we're here to the anime category, because we finished off on the cartoons category. Let's get into the anime category. This one here I got is The Dagger of Kamui. This is a classic samurai epic anime movie on here. Didn't you know this was all commonly known in Italy as La Spada de Kamui? which is basically La Spada di Kamui, which is the Sword of Kamui, in, uh, or something like that in Italian. However, it was available on DVD, released exclusively in Italy by Yamato Video. But this version I got here on DVD is in Region 1, which is only dubbed in Japanese, but with English subtitles. However, there was an English dub version of this on VHS under... Celebrity Home Video for Kids on VHS, which is has a different title called Revenge of the Ninja Blade on here as well. But this one I got on DVD. This is released by Anime Go as well. This has character bios, on-screen maps, and this also includes the, the original trailer for this anime movie as well, in case you're wondering as well. And finally, another 80s sci-fi guilty pleasure favorite that I got here on DVD, and that is Odin, Photon Space Sailor Starlight. Yeah, it's also known as Odin Starlight Mutiny as well. There's both versions of the film on DVD. This one has the international version, which is, I'm guessing it's basically the English dub version, which is got the English dub on this movie on there. But this also includes the original director's cut version in Japanese with English subtitles on there. Which I'm thinking it's how the, it, they use the, the master's transfer from the, the original Japanese Laserdisc release of Odin Starlight Mutiny as well. I mean, I, I saw this this movie blew me away with, as well, because this is like a little reminiscent to Space Battleship Yamato, which is currently known as Star Blazers as well. However, this is basically, which is in conjunction with um, West Cape Corporation. Oh, I didn't know that it was in conjunction with West Cape Corporation. However, it was animated by Toei Animation. I'm wondering if this also probably can add get a Blu-ray release under Discotech Media as well, because, I mean, that'll be great if they could release this onto Discotech Media on here as well. Yeah, this is particularly how, how I wanted to come across for this. Yeah, there was... The English VHS release of this on v video by Central Park Media as well. But this, however, in my opinion, I, w I think I like to know this DVD has basically of how this got a music video. You know, you see the music video of the Japanese heavy metal group Loudness that you see at the end. This is all, I think it's only available in the original director's cut version, which is the Japanese dub version with English subtitles. Because I think that's from the original Japanese Laserdisc transfer as well. Next, I have another anime that I have here, which I got, and that is Vampire Hunter D. This is a classic favorite. I love this movie on here because... 
In my opinion, Vampire Hunter D is considered to be my favorite 80s horror anime as well. This is directed by Tuyu Ishida that recently brought you the original Fist of the North Star series on here. Yeah. However, this version on the VHS I have, it I think this has the original English dub from Streamline Pictures on here. Because I think I got this on Amazon, though. Because this is how they were back then on VHS, where they slap it with a Not For Kids sticker label on this tape as well. Yeah, I didn't know that first until now. And sorry about the sticker, it's almost a little worn off, though, but... I'm just used to seeing how they slapping the Not For Kids sticker label on this tape. If you, if you could see that on there, if you can pause if you want to read that. Yeah, because that's how they slap it with a sticker on there. Yeah, because... what's That's the original tape I have, by the way. However, I did upgrade it to this on the Blu-ray as well. Because I think this has the English dub from Sentai Filmworks on here. I mean, the Blu-ray, I think they used the cover like this, just like the VHS had as well, in case you're wondering as well. However, this one never included the Japanese, uh, no, English dub from Streamline Pictures, but they got the new English dub from Sentai Filmworks. But this one overall has the original Japanese language track with English subtitles, and it's digitally remastered in high definition, and it and from the original materials. And this has previews for other titles from Sentai Filmworks on here. And this has the Japanese trailer, by the way. However, this is also available... This is in a regular Blu-ray case like this. However, it's also available in a Steelbook edition on the Blu-ray as well. If I'm not mistaken, as well. And finally, we got some biggest one of all that I got from my anime collection that I have here. And that is my Robotech sets on DVD, though, because I got my Robotech goodness as well. And by the way, those are the Robotech Legacy sets, which I think those are the broadcast versions of this on DVD as well. However, particularly the Macross Saga ones, they're basically... how much I'm going to show you. The first set includes the codename Robotech Original Series feature, which I think it's included in the Robotech set as well. And here's the DVD volumes of... The first two volumes cover 12 episodes on here. I need to look for the, the other Volume 2 set of this on here. Because those are the broadca original broadcast versions of the Robotech series. However, they're basically how you take shows and add them as a anthology type series on here. However, yeah, especially for Super Dimension Fortress Macross series, how they took this as how they made a, this as part of the Macross saga on the Robotech series as well. However, the English dub is part of Harmony Gold as well. However, the third set on here, this also included Robotech 2, The Sentinels, which I think is available on the DVD. However, there is also the ADV Films DVD release of the original Super Dimension Fortress Macross series on here, which I, I think it has the Japanese dub on here. However, there's loads of extras on those Robotech Legacy sets. And I also got Robotech Legacy Collection 4, I think this is part of the Robotech Masters series on here. But how they... T they just basically how they cross... How they take other shows like Super Dimension Calvary Southern Cross and Genesis Climber Mospieta, which I think this is part of it as well. However, there's a lot of extras on this DVD set on here. I probably will get some more of those as well at one point because I'm almost there to complete... The entire Robotech sets as well. And it's also available in a box set like this. It's almost kind of sturdy though. Yeah, because Yeah, these are the these are the Harmony Gold versions, by the way. However, there is also the Jap if you want to look for the original Japanese versions of 
um, Super Dimension Calvary Sun Cross and Genesis Cliver Mosbieta. You could find them anywhere as well. And there is another series I wanted to get, like Super Dimension Century Orgus. That's another series that I don't have. I think Discotech Media has released it on DVD by the, or Blu-ray, by the way. Because I really want to pick those up at, for the most part. And there's also the original Dirty Pair series. I'll probably pick that up someday at one point as well. And there's also... Magical Emmy, The Magic Star, which I think it's only available on the Italian DVD release by Yamato Video, which is released exclusively in Italy as well. If I'm not mistaken, as if I could remember, though, because these anime series from the eight, that came out in the 80s, I think that was part of the Golden Age era of anime. That's why. That's why I had to get those on DVD for the most part as well. So, that's going to be it for my video for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this one as well. Because I have been showcasing, like, these as well. Because I do... Although the Robotech sets I have are the Legacy sets, because those are the original broadcast version ones as well. However, there is also the complete Robotech Protoculture set, which I think it has all of them as well, completed as well. Especially if you've been a definitive collector as well, in case you're wondering why as well, because I never knew that the yeah, because Robotech is only in English because it's done by Harmony Gold. That's why, because that's how I want to get to the case for that as well. Hope subscribe for more content. If you want to check, links will be in the description down below. If you want to check those out at your leisure as well. And also be sure to smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comments section below on this video if you like as well. Just let me know as well. And also be sure to click on the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Ruroni K95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel as a newcomer. Because I have always wanted to get into the whole leaps and bounds kind of thing and also be sure to smack the notifications bell button and be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates on here as well and that's all i got what i got for today well as a anime dvd collector i have a feeling because i'm going to get some more on dvds and blu-rays as well but there's also japanese laser discs as well i'm hoping if i could pick them up on ebay or flea markets or goodwill stores or salvation armies you never know as well or you could find those japanese laser discs of them like especially if you're on a trip to japan I, someday i will go on a trip to japan someday as long as you have yen as well same goes with anime stores in italy like yamato shop which i think it's in milano district in italy which i have to use euros as well I might go to Italy one day at this part, point for the most part as well. But, well, that'll be a subject for another time. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I'll see you soon for more videos. Take care.